G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon from DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm here to show you how you can use a couple of different blend mode effects in Photoshop Elements. I've got a card here that I created a few years ago and I'm just going to show you how I've used the blend modes. The first thing I did was I used the luminosity blend mode. So if you see here, I've actually dialed down the opacity of this photograph that I did a little bit of editing to. And I actually dialed down the opacity to about 36 or so. Then I changed it to luminosity. This means that the only information that's kept from that photograph is the luminosity, meaning the brightness or darkness of the photo you'll notice it gives a sort of soft effect with the opacity at that level. If I increased it back up to full opacity, it would just give a bit of an effect of being see-through. The other way I used blend modes in this card was to blend this word art into the photograph here. Originally the word art looked something like this. but I changed it to screen blend mode meaning that in the screen blend mode it actually multiplies the inverse of the two layers so over black the screen blend mode will not do anything but over white it'll actually turn the colors lighter the result is always the lightest of the two colors and if you multiply the layer with a lighter layer, it goes even lighter. So basically screen will be a light result no matter what it's put on, but it goes lighter, the lighter background that you have it over. As you can see, blend modes are a mathematical complexity, but if you're not sure, you can always go back and check these first five layers here under darker will result in a darker colour and these blend modes under lighten will result in a lighter colour. If you're not sure what to do, just play around and use the arrow keys to browse through all the different modes and see which effect you like best. This example is quite good because it's got a dark side, a light side and some mid-tones. So you can see how the blend modes will be affected by each mode. Let's head back to screen. There you have it. A couple of different ways you can use blend modes to create effects in Photoshop Elements. Would you like to learn more about Photoshop Elements 11? Head over to digitalscrapbookinghq.com for tutorials, workshops and more.